by the end of the game, we're going to have like 60 people hanging out at our one gas station. Yeah, probably. We, um, may, we may have to eventually move everybody to a bigger base. Yeah, probably. There goes Jezebel. <laughs> it's astounding how much we still have to discover out here. And by we, you must mean you, because you're staying here today. Go here, here, here she comes again. Don't look at her. Don't make eye contact. I heard that there might be somewhere where there's a FAMAS located, and I'm interested. So, well, there she goes again. She's going to cause a loss in productivity around here. Definitely. Definitely. Life is a highway. I'm going to climb it to get that gun. Uh, oh. oh, boy! Okay, they apparently are keeping the gun to themselves. How greedy of them. Oh boy! That wasn't me this time! God! I Damn! Oh, there's a guy up there! Perimeter movement detected. What? Possible what? stealth unit in the AO. Do you have a, a Sultron too? A motion detecting a Sultron? Oh boy! Apparently the answer is yes! A Sultron down. Our, our stealth cover has not been blown yet. Whoa! I take it back. Let's let's try to take some cover. Let's try. Oh boy, let's this is this is not good. Okay, well, we actually. That's a fat man. <laughs> that <laughs> that didn't change. <laughs> it might be better for our camouflage if you weren't wearing a very reflective armor in broad daylight. No, it's fine. It's fine. I've got armor. Oh, see, nobody can see me here. All right, hang on, just ranging, ranging. Backblast area, clear! Uh, there was still someone in there. <laughs> it's called suppressing fire with a rocket launcher. Are you hitting them? I'm hitting something. And up we go. Hard to listen to that thing go beep, 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 beep. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to clear this building out before we go running around all willy-nilly. Looks like he got him pretty good earlier. Oh, I think I totally drilled that guy with a rocket. <laughs> you got him. All right, what do you got? Five. Oh, a Psyga 12! That's not the gun we came here for. It's not, but it's a gun that I want! Yes! 12 gauge semi automatic shotgun! Ooh, why do you like the Psyga so much? Uh, well, the Psyga is basically an AK 47 chambered in 12 gauge. So it's just an AK-47 a different caliber. It's AK-47 and 12-gauge, so you get the AK-47 reliability, but 12-gauge shotgun shells. So, wait, it's an AK that fires shotgun shells? Yes. I oh, perfect chance to use it! <laughs> oh! God! Less than ideal chance to use it. Okay! I have an idea. You may think me cowardly for this idea. I wait a s- oh. <laughs> That was not my idea. Um, <laughs> two can play at this game. Oh. You got a rocket launcher? I got a rocket launcher. Surprise! Oh crap. Looks like you missed. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> all right. All right. He's out of ammo. Get him. Get him. Get him. He's only got the one. I think. I have no idea. I'm guessing. Second 12 saved me. You got her. And also me, but whatever. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this looks good. Yeah, boy! I got a FAMAS! It is legendary and iconic. Oh, it's so cool! Whoa! <laughs> yes! Yes, my boy! Frickin' FAMAS. Oh, I love this gun. It's uh, in 9mm, I believe? 5.56. Five, five, that's roughly the same size, but I probably should know that by now. It, it isn't the same size, Mike. It's almost five millimeters smaller. No, no uh, nine millimeter is in nine millimeter, but five, five, six is in inches. No, it's in millimeters. Wait, really? It's 5.56 by 45 millimeter. Oh, shit, you're right. 223 is the is what it would be in oh. inches. It looks like I'm going to have to give up my reputation as being the primo gun expert. Yeah, apparently, apparently you will. Oh my god, I am so glad I have this gun right now. <laughs> this makes me so happy. I found two amazing guns today. Which would you prefer if you had to pick one? If I could only pick one? 
Yes, the Saig or the FAMAS? The FAMAS. Would it be in your top five firearms of all time? It's one of my favorite guns. It's just so cool looking. It is sleek and identifiable, and I believe ambidextrous, yes? Um, you can convert... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the P90. I always get those two confused. Yeah. They're both sleek, You can awesome convert guns. this to be left-handed. Yeah, all right. The, the problem with bullpups is you can't really fire them left-handed because it will just eject brass directly into your cheek. Wait, is the FAMAS a bullpup? Yeah, it is. Magazine's behind the trigger. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me throw this on the ground so I can show it to you. Let me save first. <laughs> It's like it's not really going to be much to look at. It's uh, it's an AK, but it fires shots. It's an AK shells. and 12 gauge. So to make the AK a Saiga, you pretty much have to make the, the barrel bigger to you, accompany the shot. You make the barrel bigger, and you make the magazine bigger, and you make it have a bigger bolt. And then, there you go. Now you have a Saiga. That's it, huh? It's, it really is pretty much just an AK in 12 gauge. <laughs> okay. They make the Saiga in different calibers. Like, they make it in 12 gauge. They make it in 20 gauge. They also make one in 410, <laughs> um, which 410 isn't a gauge, but people were used it to refer to it as a gauge. Whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm very glad that we found this. I'm very glad I have it. But more importantly... The FAMAS, which is indeed a bullpup. The magazine is behind... Yes. ...the finger guard. The, the trigger. The, yes. The handle holder. So, a couple interesting things about the FAMAS. It was... Incredibly futuristic when it first came out, just like the just like the Styrog. The entire carry handle assembly, the big rectangular thing on the top of it. Mm -hmm. The carry handle and sight assembly is actually made almost entirely out of plastic. The lever on the back, behind the magazine here, switches between three-round burst or full auto. Interesting fact, this is one of the only NATO guns that was originally designed to use steel-cased ammo. I... Didn't realize that was a thing. Most NATO countries use brass cased ammo, but the FAMAS used steel case because it's got a really high extraction pressure. So it, you kind of have to use steel shell casings because the original ones had problems with ripping brass shell casings in half. Well, are you saying that the FAMAS aren't designed to use brass casings? The original ones weren't. Oh, but the newer ones probably are. The aren't. newer ones, yeah, the newer ones are. Uh, I think you're not supposed to use that thing on top as a carrying handle. It's referred to as a carrying handle, but I think soldiers got yelled at when they used it as a carrying handle. I wonder if the French military got used at for that. Because I don't care what anybody says. The thing on the top that they say isn't a carry handle might as well just be a carry handle. Because that's what you that's what people primarily end up using it well, for. Well, it's, it's detachable, isn't it? Or is it part of the frame? On, the, on this FAMAS, it is not detachable. Are there FAMASs where it is detachable? The, that would be the FAMAS G2 Felon. If the carrying handle is detachable then carrying it by that would change your zero if it got shaken loose. No, not really, because the sights are mounted directly to, like, the barrel, so they're they're pretty much going to stay there just fine. Wait, wait a second. Are the sights on top of the carrying handle or underneath it? They're on top of the carry handle. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, so this one is the second version of the FAMAS, because this one has the weird trigger guard that co covers the entire grip. And then also, this one is adapted to take NATO mags. Because the original FAMAS had, like, specific 25-round magazines that were straight. Mm. Um, also, if you look on the barrel, you see those weird ridges on there? Yeah. That's so that ring can move further forward and backwards so that you can launch rifle grenades. Rifle grenades? Yeah, you basically just shove a grenade over the end of the muzzle and you fire a blank into it. And then it launches a rifle grenade. Uh, almost like a pinball machine where you put a grenade at the end of your gun? Yeah, I guess you can equate it to like that, yeah. So, you pull the pin on the grenade at the end of your gun? Oh, no, 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 no. The, the rifle grenades are, like, are, are, are totally different. So, it's one of those ones where it spins a bit and activates? It's something like that. I think the act of firing it causes it to arm the grenade. Uh, okay. But, uh, but, still, though, you're basically launching a grenade by firing a bullet at the grenade? Uh, no, it's a blank. You shoot a blank. What if you forget to load blanks in there? Um, then you're just shooting a, a bullet at a grenade that's point blank. Yeah, I think they, they technically have safety mechanisms that should keep them from going off, but I still wouldn't want to do it. it yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like hella stoked we got this thing. The FAMAS has a stupid high firing rate. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see. Yes. Um, I'm... Very stoked that we have this. Also, the model the guy used for this is absolutely gorgeous. He did such a good job making this making this model. Would you like to take it back to base and Frankenstein the hell out of it? I kind of would, yeah. 
So you might recognize the FAMAS from the game Metal Gear Solid. Uh, that is the first time that I saw that. Yeah, um, which a lot of people, myself included, thought it was kind of weird that it's a bunch of U.S. Special Operations soldiers in Alaska using French-made assault rifles. That is weird. Do you know why they use the FAMAS in that game? I don't. Because it's, it's super blocky looking, <laughs> and it made it really easy to render it on a PlayStation <laughs> 1 graphics. Really? Yeah, that's the entire reason they use the Mark 23 SOCOM as well, is because it's an incredibly blocky looking handgun. <laughs> All right. Doesn't have anything to do with its performance or its history. It's just that it blocky. So that's the reason they had a French assault rifle. That's it. That is the reason that it was a bunch of U.S. troops armed with a French assault rifle. I think they had some reason in game why they were, but I don't remember what it was. So we got a rest. Oh, look! You can get the felon receiver. That is one of the advantages of a bullpup. Is this standard civilian barrel is probably like a twenty-something inch barrel, but this whole rifle is probably about only the same length as like an M4 carbine. Because you have the magazine at the very end. Because the magazine's at the very end of it, yeah. What are what's the negative to having a bullpup like that? The negative to having is a bullpup is it does require. Oh look, you can make add the standard F1 receiver. Is it awkward to load a magazine like that? It can be. It does technically require more training. Oh, I can put the actual laser that they had on the FAMAS on this? <laughs> Apparently. Okay, yeah, we'll try that. Yay! I can put the curd fill-in bipod on there! There you go. In my opinion, there are more upsides to a bullpup rifle than there are downsides. However, that is entirely my opinion. A lot of people disagree. A lot of people say bullpups are inferior and there's no reason to use them. If you want a rifle that's very compact and still gives you the same accuracy, is like a longer barreled rifle. Yeah, but downsides, can't really shoot it left-handed unless you get one that's converted over. And it does take a different manual of arms to get used to. Why, why, why can't it be ambidextrous? That's where all the shell casings come out. On the other side of the rifle, that's where your cheek goes. So you try to shoot it left-handed, you're gonna be eating all that brass. <laughs> oh, I see. And if I put my face right there, all the brass are gonna be like, oh, my <laughs> yeah, you will just be eating brass. I met a trader the other day that likes flowers. I gave her a few tips on growing violets. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think I made a friend. Aw. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's great. That's that, positive. That, that magazine is a surefire 60-round magazine for an AR-15. It is not a 12-gauge <laughs> magazine. <laughs> I, uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> the more you dick around with that Saiga, the more it looks like an actual AK. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm just putting wood furniture on it, you know, <laughs> for giggles. Give it the French name, Zach. Give it the give it the, the name that FAMAS stands for. I don't know what it stands then for. Make up an acronym. Seal de automatique Mati Ba Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. Assault shotgun. Fun and me ass shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what FAMAS now stands for. From this point on, <laughs> put it in the history books. My cousin Jenny and I were inseparable. Even now, I carry a piece of her with me wherever I go. Uh, uh you yeah. might want to bury that. It's starting to smell. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I keep forgetting that's a shotgun because I look at it and immediately think assault rifle. Yeah, but it's not. It's a shotgun. Whoa! Oh, this is not awful trying to aim through irons at all. This is not like a horrible, horrible tunnel vision. <laughs> oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> you made a gun so you can hate on it? Oh no, it's just so hard to see through irons like this. It looks cool as hell. Especially when you're running. Look at this. Look how cool I look. Yeah, you do. I was trying to think about what the French national anthem was for a second there. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh... I caused the garçon. I caused the garçon. I don't think that's the French national anthem. Laissez tomber les filles. Laissez tomber les filles. Ow! No appreciation for the fighter things in life. That's not the French national anthem. It should be. It's good. Ah! You feel a sign? Ah, we got some hover turrets. Latest in uh, settlement defense. 
What? 